lift up my voice and praise the Lord. Jesus is the healer. He's Lord. Coronavirus ain't ruling around here. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> it's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Hebrews 13, 15, what does it say? By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Let's try that one more time. By him, what does that mean? Because of what Jesus has done. In him, because of his blood, because of his sacrifice. Let us remember his sacrifice and honor his sacrifice by giving a sacrifice of praise. In other words, your sacrifice of praise connects you to his sacrifice of redemption for your life. Oh, you ought to get happy already. I said your sacrifice of praise will connect you to Jesus, the perfect sacrifice. Praise God. Glory to God. Jesus paid it all. Come on, he didn't leave nothing out. He paid it all. Ha, 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 ha. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. I don't know if you have it up, but you know, Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Let's try continually. 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 That is, come on, what is it? The fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. Woo, come on. That means the fruit of your lips giving thanks to his name. Continually we offer the sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of our what? Lips. What does that mean? That means there is no such thing as unexpressed thanks. All right, let's try this out over here. In other words, you cannot be thankful without it coming out of your mouth. Giving thanks to God continually, the fruit of our lips. Woo, praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Ha, ha, ha. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody said, well, I don't feel nothing. No, faith comes first. Feelings have to show up later. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Now look at Acts 16, 25. Acts 16, 25, here's what it said. Acts 16, 25, it says, at midnight, at midnight, come on, that means a bad time, tough time. Paul and Silas, Oh, I love this verse. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. That means there's no silent faith going on here. There's no silent praying and no silent praising. It said the prisoners heard them. And it says at midnight, what had happened there? You know, they'd been beaten, embarrassed. Their backs were bleeding, their hands are bound, their feet are bound. So the Lord said it to be this way. He said, imagine Paul and Silas at midnight. Come on, their backs are bleeding, their hands are bound, their feet are bound. <laughs> They're in pain. And imagine Paul saying, Mr. Devil, looks like you did a good job. I'm in pain, I'm embarrassed. You got my hands bound, my feet bound. But Mr. Devil, 
you made one big mistake. You should have taped my mouth shut. You should have taped my mouth shut. Because long as I can move my mouth, I can move a mountain. So long as I can move my mouth, I have authority in my voice. So long as I can move my mouth. So come on, how many of you got your mouth open right now? As long as I can move my mouth. Come on, mountains got to move. Paul and Silas lifted their voice, sang praises to God. Ha, 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 ha. And it says the prisoners heard them, but the prisoners were not the only one that heard them. Their praise, their voice went all the way up into heaven. And the power of God came down on that sound. I said, the power of God came on that sound. Woo, the Lord said it to me this way. He said, your voice is your address in the realm of the spirit. Your voice is your address. The power of God came down on their exact address. The chains fell off. The doors came open. And not only were they set free, but everybody in the whole jail went free. You cannot afford to be silent in this situation. That means if you'll dare to lift your voice, not only will it set you free, but it'll set people all around you free if you'll dare to lift your voice. They just started singing praises to God, giving glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. All that's within me, bless his holy name. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, your faithfulness to your word, your faithfulness to your name. Praise God. Come on, practice right. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Glory to God. Ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah. Woo. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, Come on, take it to the next level. Ha, 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 ha. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise God. Glory to God. Praise God. Come on, I got to fill my basket up here. I don't know what you're facing, but it'll lift off of you if you'll dare to fill up that praise basket and give the glory to God, give thanks to God, get magnify the Lord, magnify his word. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Ha, 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 ha. Keep standing just for a moment. It says that Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. Let's try this over there. Come on, you got the word, you got the promise. Abraham didn't stagger at that and say, oh, that's too good, that can't happen here. He staggered not at the promise of God, but he became strong in faith. He became strong in faith, giving glory to God, being fully persuaded what God has promised. He is able also to perform it. He will bring it to pass. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your promise. I rejoice over your word. I rejoice over your word. Come on, it may not look like it right now, may not feel like it right now, but I dare you to fill up your praise basket. Fill up your praise basket. Thank God for his faithfulness to his word. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Sit back down a minute. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm just about finished, Pastor Joel. Here's what Brother Hagin, he said, Dad Hagen, a lot of his, I, I've listened to a lot of his messages many, many times. But the one, one of my favorites is the one he has on confession. 
and there's probably more than one, but my, my favorite one is called Four Kinds of Confession. And I usually get to the number two or three in that one. And he goes into the confession of your faith. The power of the confession of your faith. Hold fast to your confession of faith without wavering. The importance of your confession. Hold fast. We have a great high priest. Let us hold fast our confession. Hold on tight. Don't turn loose of it. Amen. Amen. Then Hebrews 3, 1, Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession. Y'all still with me? Hebrews 3, 1, 4, 14, 10, 23. Did you know Hebrews 13, 15 is the same identical word as confession in Hebrews 4, 14? Y'all still with me? What's that? Giving thanks to his name is the same Greek word as confession in 4, 14. In other words, while you're praising God, it's your confession that God is greater, that Jesus is Lord. Amen. And your confession of faith, holding fast to that, that the original initial confession of the believer is that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the universe. He is Lord. He's master. Hallelujah. His blood. I said his blood. blood. Woo, his blood. blood. It's the blood of his cross. And God sees us through that blood, but it's not just the blood of his cross because Hebrews 9, 12 says he took his blood into heaven when he was raised from the dead and he obtained eternal redemption for us. So it's not just the blood of his cross, it's literally the blood of his triumph and the blood of his resurrection. And the blood of Jesus is in the presence of God right now and God lives in constant view of that blood. That blood woo, has opened heaven but that blood comes into direct contact with a believer's heart through faith and through the power of the Holy Ghost. The, the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit are inseparable. Wherever the blood of Jesus is honored, the Holy Spirit will work. Wherever the Holy Spirit works, the blood of Jesus will be honored. Everything that the blood of Jesus does in heaven the Holy Spirit does in the believer's heart. It must not just be faith without application. To have faith in the blood means there must be an application. And in the book of Hebrews, he says that application happens through your confession and through your praise. My mama was constantly slinging the blood everywhere. You know what I mean by that? Because in the Old Testament, when they had, when they had worship, they put blood on everybody. They're slinging blood on everybody. You couldn't even go to church and worship without getting blood on you. Come on, it's in Hebrew, Exodus in Hebrew. Priest take blood, sprinkle the book, sprinkle everybody. My mama was, was sling blood. Sprinkle the blood by faith. In other words, she would lift her voice and she would say something like, I plead the blood. Now, we didn't know what that meant. And some people say, well, that's not in the New Testament. And I tried to tell my mother that. She said, well, it seems to be working for me, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> so Dad Hagen said, he said, I didn't know what the Spirit-filled people were doing. He said, I was raised Baptist, so I came over the Spirit-filled people because they believed in healing. He said, that's how I got filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, so when I came over to Spirit-filled Spirit people, he said, our Pentecostal people, he said, they would always say, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. He said, I didn't understand exactly what they were doing, but he said, it, it worked so well for me, I still do it to this day. 
In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What does that mean? Plead is simply a legal term. That means I bring my case to rest. How do you plead? I bring my case to rest on the power of the blood of Jesus, what it's done in heaven, what it does in my heart, what it does over the devil. I plead the blood right now. I apply that blood and I rest my case. Nothing left to do but praise right now because I rest my case on the power of that blood. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. My mama had a lot of applications for that. In the Old Testament, I plead. But in the New Testament, it's called faith in the blood from Romans 3.25. Faith in the blood. I plead the blood. Synonymous. I have faith in the blood. I rest my case on the power of the blood. So my mom said, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Many applications. If she felt sickness or disease coming on her body or something, she'd say, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. If we're going on a trip, she'd say, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. So I grew up around that. Even one time I brought a girlfriend home from high school, had a miniskirt on. I could tell my mama didn't like her because she said, I plead the blood of Jesus right now. <laughs> Finally, I brought Trina home from Bible college, and my mama said, thank God for the blood. I thank you for the blood. <laughs> I plead the blood or I apply the blood, I lift my voice and I apply it to the doorpost of my family and my life. In other words, I don't just believe in the blood in the house. I got the blood on the doorpost and God said, when I see the blood, there's a covering over your life, a divine covering. Ha, 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 ha. So somebody's got to put the blood on the doorpost. Somebody's got to start talking about it, praising God for it. Lift your voice and make a confession of faith about the power of the blood of Jesus. So in Hebrews, you've got the blood covenant. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant, God is working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Boy, you ought to laugh about that. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant. So you've got the blood covenant, you've got the blood of his cross and his death, and then you've got the blood concerning your confession of faith. So my mama would say, the blood of Jesus. And I got this little card from Grace Ruth. And she said it this way, the blood of Jesus purges me from every defilement of the enemy. Let's try that again. The blood of Jesus. Here's the way Wigglesworth said it. There's not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. Come on, let's just try that. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to stay up there or not, but I'm coming down here a minute. Praise the Lord. So your confession, come on, mixed with your praise and lifting your voice The blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, or the blood of Jesus purges me from every defilement of the enemy. There's not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. And Jesus, when he said, this is my blood, this is my body, in the New Testament, this blood of the New Testament for the remission of sin. Someone pointed out forgiveness in the Old Testament, but remission in the New Testament. The difference between forgiveness and remission is remission means cancellation of penalty and the removal of guilt. Go ahead and laugh for a minute. Uh -huh. In the Old Testament, God said, I will not remember your sin. But in the New Testament, the blood has the power to remove your sin from your remembrance. In other words, sin consciousness is removed from you and guilt is removed from you by the power of the blood of Jesus. Woo, 
Let me. Not only did God forget about it, but I forgot about it because of the power of the blood. So your confession, whew, I, I got to finish here. What time is it? 12 o'clock. The blood of Jesus. Get, get your snack and come back and pay attention. The blood of Jesus. Your confession of faith, the basis of your praise, the blood of Jesus purges me from every defilement of the enemy. Andrew Murray said, you honor the blood by boldly confessing that it cleanses you from all sin, from all unrighteousness. Praise the Lord. Andrew Murray said, to enjoy this blessing, nothing is necessary except faith in the blood of Jesus. He said, the blood of Jesus has done everything. This blood. Woo, has opened heaven, reached into your conscience, into your heart. And we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That means the power of that blood, woo, and your confession of faith. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, the power of that blood. I'm rejoicing over that blood. I'm redeemed by the blood. I'm washed in the blood. I overcome by the blood. Enjoy this blessing. Boy, I feel like slapping somebody this morning. I said, to enjoy this blessing. I said, to enjoy this blessing. Nothing is necessary except faith in the blood of Jesus. His blood alone has done everything. He purchased our freedom with his own blood. Are you washed in the blood? Are you cleansed by the blood? Act like you're free because of the blood. Act like you're blessed because of the blood. You take this cup of blessing because of the blood of Jesus. His blood is on the doorpost of your house. His blood over your soul and over your life. His blood, come on, it reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives us strength. Woo! It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. Mark Hankins Ministries Faith for Every Nation. Are you struggling to overcome obstacles that hinder you from receiving your healing? Are you tired of going from doctor to doctor, taking all kinds of medicine and not getting results? We have good news for you. God's Healing Word, a book by Pastor Trina Hankins, is a practical guide to receiving divine healing. This book is a perfect prescription for anyone struggling with sickness, disease, even mental or emotional challenges. The practical instruction in this book is not only the product of diligent study, but is also the proven divine medicine that saved Pastor Trina's life when she had an inoperable brain tumor. Included in this practical guide to receive your healing, you'll find these helpful tools, testimonies and practical teaching designed to help you know God's will, healing scriptures to strengthen your faith, learn how to act on God's word, use your authority, receive your healing, and maintain your healing today. You'll also receive a bonus three CD set, The Praise Cure. Pastor Mark Hankins teaches how praising God releases the power of God and causes healing. The Praise Cure doesn't cost a thing. It's delightful and works all the time. 
Your gift of $25 or more will help Pastor Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Call right now, 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Order today and start living in God's best divine health. Thank you so much for tuning in today for today's message on healing. We're so glad that you tuned in and you listened to this message because it is life changing, especially if you have been faced with challenges in your own body, if you have been faced with challenges in your health or family's health, children's health, you know how valuable this teaching is because God's will is for you to be healed. It is His will for you to walk in divine healing. That is why God has placed this message so strongly on my mom's heart because she's walked this path herself. She was also healed of an inoperable brain tumor. She was healed miraculously by the power of God, but it was because of her knowledge of God, of her knowledge of the blood of Jesus, her knowledge of her authority of a believer, her knowledge and, and what she has in Christ. It's because of all of that, that she was able to access that and she was able to live it. And so she has come out with a book it is amazing because it is her testimony. She shares her testimony and you know, other people's testimony strengthens us to keep going and to keep fighting and believe that God will do it for us too. So her testimony is in here and there's also some great, great things in here. Some confessions that you can make, some word in here that you can stand on. I encourage you to get this book, go to markhankins.org. You can call the number on the screen. Your contribution to Mark Hankins Ministries, your contribution to even purchasing this book is helping us get the word out that people can be healed. It is God's will for you to be healed. I encourage you get this book, share it with a friend, read it. It will help you. Until next time, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.